At this point, we're ready to start creating our other limbs and our other IK links, as well as the additional controllers we're going to need to control the whole animation. And at the end, we'll be doing our animation by controlling the controllers rather than using any of the layers. So if we want to create another limb, let's just select the links for the uh, right arm that we have and duplicate them, Control or Command D. And then if you pull any one of these down below where it says body, because this is going to be the left arm which will be behind the body, and let go, you'll see that they'll all come together in a group and they are now placed below the body. So you can just see below there that uh, the item is actually underneath the body. And we need to rename them. So I'm going to click away and then you select the first one, Enter, and then using my arrow keys make sure that says L for left and then do the same for the other ones and then my left arm link is set up however I need a controller for my left arm now notice by the way I've duplicated the layer that was turned off when the um, IK chain was created so I just need to turn that back on to see my left hand it'll turn back off when it does a new goal for me but we needn't worry about that so I'm going to choose hand left and I'm going to go back up to controller the controller is created for the left hand and now I need to create my IK chain so I start at the hand and work down so I go left hand holding my control key on the PC command key on the Mac forearm upper arm hand left controller go to IK creation click on that and it's done exactly the same as turn off the left hand but giving me the left hand goal so now if I go to left hand controller, click away and just take the left hand controller, click and drag that, so it's rotating it, if I uh, get my V key so I can move it, you'll see that I've got my other item, so my left hand and my right hand are controllable with IK links. As you can see, you can scale them, uh, if you accidentally scale these it's not going to make any difference, they're just going to move and rotate, so I can rotate that hand as well. So they're created brilliant so I've got two controllers for two arms now I don't actually need to see these layers anymore so I don't need to see the, the layers for my hands I want to keep the body and at the moment I haven't done anything with the head so I'll keep the head but I can shy all those layers and hit the shy guy and get rid of them and then I can create my leg so again I'm going to make sure nothing is selected and I'm going to go to the rounded rectangle tool and very quickly knock out a thigh and name that thigh. thigh. Is that how you spell it? I'm dyslexic, I can never remember. And then I'm going to click away again so nothing is selected and do what I'm going to call shin. Select that and hit shin. And then again, nothing is selected. Go back to my ellipse tool and create my little foot here. So I've got a little foot for my man. And name that foot. And of course, I should have called it foot R, shouldn't I? So that should be foot R and shin should be shin R. So let's just rename those so that I've got good names for them. R and thigh should have been thigh R as well. Okay, so those are my three layers that are created. I can twirl them all up. I don't really need to see what's going on there. And I'm probably going to want those actually below my controllers. I'm going to want to keep my controllers at the top. But I do want them this side of the body because they're the right hand side. Doesn't look brilliant, but this is just an example. And now I need to set up the parenting again, if you remember. So the thigh needs to be parented to the body, so wherever the body goes, the thigh goes. The shin needs to be parented to the thigh, so wherever the thigh goes, the shin will follow. And the foot needs to be parented to the shin, so that wherever the shin would go, the foot will follow. And we have our standard forward kinematic creation. Now I'm going to select the end of the link, which is the foot. Go back up and click controller. And a controller... Ah, well, it's gone to exactly the wrong place because I hadn't changed the anchor points. So I'm going to Control Z, to undo that, and I'm going to go in and make sure I've got my anchor points in all the right place. So let's go back and take the pan behind tool and take the anchor point for the foot to the heel, for the shin to the knee, and for the thigh to the hip okay so that is now set up now when I go back to my foot and I click controller it actually sticks that null object directly on the foot now I'm ready to do my IK chain so let's do that again so holding the control key foot shin thigh foot right controller go up here IK creation 
Now, I'm going to go back to my selection tool. You're going to see a problem this time. You need to click away, and the problem is when I select the null object to move it, you'll notice that the leg bends the wrong way, which is not very helpful. However, when you have selected that controller and you go to the effects controls panel, you'll see that there is a little checkbox. And if you click the checkbox, it changes the direction of bending, which means that you can animate it, which is fantastic. So if you want something to bend the other way, you can actually animate a checkbox. If you want something to swing backwards and forwards, a rope or something, you can actually do that directly through using that checkbox. So I've now got my legs selected. One of the things I don't want to do now, of course, is actually select any of the leg. I just want the controller. So when we're finished, we're going to lock everything down. So what I want to do now is I want to create my left leg. So I'm going to take the item, so the foot down to the thigh, Control or Command D to duplicate it, drag them down below the body, and then just go through and rename each one of them with L as opposed to R. So enter, and then left, and then shin, enter, left. And you'll see that the foot doesn't appear to be there because if you remember when the what was called a goal was created, it was basically a copy of the item and turn the eyeball off. So don't worry about that. All we're going to do is turn it on again and it will create its own goal again when we're done. So let's take the left foot and we know what we need to do now. Obviously the anchor points are going to be in the right place because we duplicated them. So take the foot, click controller and then go through the same process of going from foot to shin to thigh and then foot left controller. Create your IK chain and as you can see here Let's click away and just make sure we've got the controller selected. You can see it's going the wrong way. So all we need to do at this point is just click the checkbox to say go the right way. And now our man is ready to animate. Well, he's not quite ready to animate because we've got some other bits and pieces that we need to think about. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn on all the layers so that they can be seen. And I'm just going to quickly maximize that. And I'm going to make sure that um, all of them except, let's see, I want the body and the head left on at the moment I think. So leave the body and head and I'm actually going to lock all the layers that I don't want to select. So I'm going to click and drag to lock them all but I'm actually going to leave the head and the body selectable just at the moment in case I need to do some more work with those and just again uh, minimize that panel and turn it off so that the only things I've got at the moment are the body and the head should I need to use them and the controllers. Now I'm going to want additional controllers. I'm going to want for instance a controller for the head. So if I select the head I can actually just click controller and it creates a controller at the anchor point for the head. So if I hit W for the rotation tool I can actually rotate the head. Well it's not rotating because it's not parented. So control Z. So I need to take the head and parent it to the head controller. This is not an inverse kinematic link, this is an ordinary straightforward kinematic link. So that when I go to the animation you'll see that the head is there. So what we need is some kind of controller to hold the whole thing together. So if we select the body and we do a controller for the body, we just need to think about setting it up. Where do we want the body to follow? We want the body to follow the body controller and we want the head controller to follow the body controller. So at the moment if I was to click on the body controller and move it across, you'll see that the head isn't going to follow. Control Z to undo. But if I take the head controller and I say you must follow the body controller, when I go back to the body controller, you'll see that when we move the body controller, the head will start to move along. So now we're pretty much set up ready to do our animation. There is however one other controller I would set up and I'm actually going to lock both the body and the head now. We don't actually need to worry about them and I'm going to shy them so that we don't actually see them. So we're just working with controllers. One other thing that I do want to set up is I want to set up a main controller. So I'm actually going to create my own null object this time. So I'm going to go learn new null object command alt shift y or control option shift y and I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it at the bottom and I'm going to call this my master controller. So that's now my master controller 
and my master controller is where all the other ones really need to be linked to so for instance the body controller needs to be linked to the master controller however if I start to move the master controller you'll also see that some bits and pieces aren't going to follow properly so what I also want to link to them is these two foot controllers so I'm going to take the foot controller the other foot controller and I'm going to link those to the master as well so that when I start to move the master around everything's going to be moving with that in fact you can see we probably want to take the hands and link those as well so if you take the two hand ones hand left and right and take those and parent them to the master then wherever the master goes the whole thing will follow so now you're ready to set up your animation it's all going to be done with controllers so we've got our foot controllers so we've got the IKs on the legs the IKs on the arms you can see I've stretched this one out but that doesn't matter because these ones are not going to cause us any problems and we can rotate them if we want to and we've got the neck controller which is really just a rotational one for wherever we want the neck to go and of course if we wanted to have multiple parts of the body we could have done that as well and the only one you do need to be a little bit careful about is this master one because if you do scale the master one you are going to find that the whole thing scales so um, you just need to be a little bit careful on that one control Z you want to move it but you don't want to scale it so that's inverse kinematics the animation is done through the controllers so you really just want to select your controllers and you want to do P shift R so you've got position and rotation and for the master all you really want on that one is position and now you're ready to do some complex animations very quickly because you have inverse kinematics available to you inside After Effects which means that the end results can be absolutely amazing very very quickly now obviously you're going to create better characters than I have but it gives you an idea of how it works and I'm sure you can see the advantages you can do multiple legged items you can even do this in 3D but once you know how the process works I think you'll find it will be very easy to do amazing animations very quickly using inverse kinematics rather than using forward kinematics because the end result is going to be so much more predictable and controllable. My name's Andrew Davis. I hope you found these two tutorials useful. And please do give to Dudoof. Go there and donate if you're going to use this script. Thank you for watching.